Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to this channel. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed and we're very very grateful so thank you i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to why turkish people love animals a big shout out to the person that suggested this i mean animals are everywhere in cyprus in turkey i'm trying to think did i see any animals i'm not so sure but yeah so let's see what this video is about without wasting time let's get into the video when you walk across the streets in istanbul You'll notice that there are a lot of cat houses, like this one. This is quite normal here. People feeding stray dogs. Putting leftover food on the roof so birds can eat. A bowl of dry cat food at the corner of the street. And stray dogs covered with blankets. To understand why Turkish people have a soft spot for animals, we need to go back hundreds of years ago to the period of the Ottoman Empire. Stray cats have a special place in Istanbul. You can find shelter and food provided by people everywhere. In this store, the owner has put a coin box to collect donations to buy cat food. So cats and Istanbul cannot be separated. They have always been part of the city. Sabri Durak is a muezzin of this mosque. Here in the winter, due to the cold temperature, cats often come and sleep inside the mosque. He explained that the mosque does not stop the cats from coming in. 1400 yıllar arasında yapılmış bir cami. Şimdi kediler buraya bu cami bu cami yapıldığından beri kediler buraya girermiş. Kedi camiye yani biz sokmadık kedileri. Kediler zaten giriyor buraya. Ama kedileri şey yapmıyoruz yani kovmuyoruz kedileri. Kediler yine camide gerçekten duruyor çünkü bunu istemeyen de var, isteyen de var. Ama bunun ön, önünü alamıyoruz yani illa kediler giriyor yani bunu şey yapamadık bir türlü çaresini bulamadık. Bunu da geçenlerde e, yaklaşık böyle bir 30 sene vardı. Bu şu buralarda tabi tabi gönder gönder tabi tabi giriyorlar <gülüyor> yukarıya burası ya e, bayanların olduğu yere. Yani şimdiki şeye bakarak ya mesela eskiden işte o söylenir mesela. You see this miniature of a mosque. At first you may think it's just decoration, but this is actually a birdhouse. You can recognize them by their unique shapes, like the shape of a mosque, a house and a palace. The Ottomans built birdhouses in the 15th century until the 19th century. Today, they can be found almost everywhere on the walls of old Ottoman buildings. The Ottomans are historically known for their kindness towards animals. Alphonse de Lamartine, a French writer and poet, who had a special friendship with Sultan Abdul Majid I, said, Turks respect birds, dogs, that's to say all the things Allah has created. They are merciful and charitable to all types of miserable animals that are left alone and tortured across our territories. The Ottomans were inspired by Islam, so treating animals well was considered a religious duty. Taking care of animals was important for people. They built foundations, like a foundation for feeding stray cats and dogs. And one of the interesting foundations they made was a foundation for protecting storks. Thank you. 
Storks spend the winter in Africa, and in the summer they migrate to Europe. During this long-distance journey, they sometimes injure themselves. So, in the 19th century, in the city of Bursa, people built a hospital which the local call Gurubahane Laklakem. The storks would take a break in Turkey before continuing their long journey, and people would find injured and sick storks. So people would donate money to help them, and when the storks recovered, they would continue their journey all the way to Africa or Europe. The Quran, the Hadith, and the history of Islamic civilization offer many examples of kindness, mercy, and compassion towards animals. All living beings worship Allah in their own way, and they are worthy of consideration and respect. I've been to Turkey like once, but I'm not. I can't. I can't seem to remember ever seeing animals. I don't know, but then when you go to Cyprus, this tradition has carried on. There's cats everywhere, there's dogs everywhere. You find them in restaurants, like in school, they would, they would be in the restaurant running around doing whatever cats and dogs do. Um, they're just everywhere. Even when you go to town restaurants, you find outside they set up these like uh, food places for the dogs or cats or whatever it is and I, 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 I just don't understand it. I'm not an animal person, I'm terrified of animals. But I guess they're doing a good job by keeping them and you actually find these animals are very very fat, especially the cats. You could think they're obese or something, they are very very fat. Some of them are very fat, some of them just look normal but others. You'd even uh, be shocked to think to find that there are stray cuts or something. Otherwise, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.